This is your estuary report. I'm Jerry Kay. When we consider the fact that over one million registered boats cruise the waters of California, we can begin to understand the potential impact that recreational boaters can have on their environment. The untreated sewage discharge of one devoted weekend boater produces an amount of bacterial pollution equal to that of 10,000 people whose wastes are treated. You can imagine how the figures will add up as the number of illegal discharges increases. Impacts from sewage discharge are not limited to environmental degradation. In polluted waters, recreational boaters can experience health issues, ranging from cold-like symptoms to rashes or skin infections. In some extreme cases, albeit rare, boaters can even develop infectious cholera, typhoid, or hepatitis. This is why it is so important for all of us who enjoy California's 1.4 million acres of water to do our part and pump out our marine storage devices. Hi, my name is James and I'm going to be showing you how to use a pump out system today. When you first arrive, what you want to look for are the universal pump out symbols usually located on the pilings near the pump out system. This is what a pump out system normally looks like. There are variations, but most of them have this pedestal with a motor somewhere near. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate your deck waste fitting, which will be on your boat. So you're going to want to unscrew your deck waste fitting. And when you take it off, you want to put it in somewhere that A, you're going to remember to put it back on and B, it's secure and not going to fall off into the water. The next thing you're going to want to do is uncoil your hose. Go ahead and put on your gloves. Make sure you're sanitary about it. And take the hose off the pedestal. What this is going to ensure is that you don't get any blockages while you're pumping out. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your nozzle over to the location where your deck waste fitting is, ensuring that the valve is perpendicular, which means it's off. You're not going to get flow. Go ahead and set it down and turn your pump on. Once your pump out's on, go ahead and take your nozzle and put it in the deck waste fitting keeping it as vertical as possible and making sure that there's a seal. So you want to put a little bit of pressure on the top. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and turn that nozzle on. As you can tell, the sight glass gets a little bit cloudy. That's okay, it means it's working. As the fluid discharge decreases and the sight glass is getting clear, it means your MSD is getting empty. Go ahead and keep it there for a little while longer to make sure that everything's out. After the first pump out, there will be some residual liquid left in the MSD. To clear this out, flush water down the head and pump out what is left in the MSD. When there's no more fluid flowing, go ahead and close the nozzle. Then crack it over to the sides to make sure that all the residual liquids drip back into the deck waste fitting and into the MSD itself. After making sure as much residual liquid as possible is dripped into the MSD, go ahead and take it over to a bucket filled with water. Stick the nozzle into the bucket and open the valve. This step will clear the hose of material left over from the pumping process. When the bucket is empty, allow the pump to run for a little longer to introduce air into the system. This will make the hose lighter for you to put back. After 30 seconds have passed, go ahead and turn the valve off again. After closing the valve, the next thing you're going to want to do is turn off the motor, the red button. Then you're going to want to go ahead and coil the hose back up on the stand for the next boater to use. So, after the hose is put away, you're good to go. Remember, if it's your boat, it's your responsibility. Enjoy the day. To locate a marina in the Bay or Delta area that has a pump out, check out the pump out guide and map for boaters. In these maps, you'll find over 70 locations that are open to the public, and both the Bay and Delta versions also have facts about marine sanitation devices step-by-step pump-out instructions, and other important information about green boating. For a free copy, please visit your local marina or boating supply shop, or call area code 510-622-2406.